You're now listening to the Z Listers podcast with Brady Neal and AJP. All right. Are you situated? Shit. Bitch. Are you still? Yeah. Are you? Are you still? <laughs> are you still recording? Check one two. <laughs> are you still recording? Yes. You want to do the intro, or you want me to do it? Um. All right, go for it. And stop moving the goddamn recorder. I'm trying to fix it. I'm moving my earbud, not... Okay, well, I haven't done the fucking intro, have I? We'll fucking do it live. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? I've been. I'm good. I've been. Welcome to the Z-Listers podcast. We're two fucking nobodies. This is hard. Uh, you suck. This is why you don't do it. <laughs> Welcome back to the Joe Rogan and Pete Holmes fan club. Uh, <laughs> episode number 529. All yet to be released. <laughs> no, they're out. They're live. They're live, bro. Oh, just nobody cares. Yeah, nobody listens. <laughs> Holy crap. That's fine. I, would, I wouldn't listen either. You should probably stop now. <sighs> should, I, should I not say that? Should you not? Well, I mean, you should, you should care a little bit about what we do. You guys should listen. I mean, you're I'm the one cha- that... I've changed my mind. You're the one that wants to use this to launch his stand-up career. I never... Uh, Don't say you never yeah. said that, because you definitely <laughs> said that. No, I just, I'm just trying to make big boy bucks... My goal is to get legitimate enough that we have a me undies endorsement. Can you stop <laughs> every episode with the me undies? <laughs> Listen, me undies. <laughs> if you're listening to this, me undies, uh, we are totally open to deal. I told you, if you need me to take you shopping, I will. Just stop. <laughs> stop. Oh my god, I want some of that micromodal fabric rubbing up against my loins. You're a hack, bro. I know I am. What do you what do you want? Uh, let's first of all, let's paint the scene again. It's week 2. Brady's in his car. I'm at my house. We still don't even know if this is going to come out uh usable, but <laughs> but we're trying. We're trying to yeah. we're trying to bring the content to the people. Some um, of us more than others. <laughs> I'm you, just saying it would be it would be nice it would be nice to feel like you actually give a shit. Me? You know? Me? I'm trying to bring some fucking legitimacy to this thing. So I I wish I wish <laughs> people could know how horse hockey that is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You don't do jack shit when it comes to this podcast other than record. Okay, well, that's that's 90% of the battle, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh did, uh, speaking of horse hockey, did I ever tell you the story about my, my scary bus driver? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to retell it again because... because <laughs> can, I be, I, can I be completely honest? <laughs> yeah. I said, hmm, hoping you wouldn't tell it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the story. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> um, so... Yeah. To, to set the scene, I was in sixth grade, and for some reason... Is this in Albany? I, no. The, <laughs> this is in Martinsville, New Jersey. You lived in Martinsville? Uh, when did you live? Bro. Yeah. This guy, D- this guy has just, lived <laughs> a million lives. Go on. Bro, I've, I've got like 30 different postal codes in my past. You honestly... Give me a break. You do. You probably have a dozen. <laughs> anyway... So, Martinsville, New Jersey, roughly 2008, maybe. I, I don't really know the figures. Um, this is why no one listens. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just a little, little scared little boy just trying to find his place in the world. And for some reason... Sounds I like not to... much has changed. <laughs> and for some reason, I had to stay late after school, like for a club or something. And so I, however it ended up being, I was literally the last kid on the bus to get dropped off. And this was in like, this was in like winter in New Jersey, I'm pretty sure, or like fall maybe. So it got dark early, you know? Okay. So, so it's only like 530, but it's like 
damn near pitch black outside. Anyway. <laughs> this story sucks. <laughs> I have no idea where I live. Like, obviously, this guy knows, like, where to drop me off because I'm sure there's some sort of system for I. They must have the kids' addresses, right? I mean, yeah, they got to know where to pick okay. you up and drop you. Did you get picked up, like, right in front of your house or was there, like, a bus stop? Um, there was a bus stop. I think. Okay, so I mean, yeah, he had he should know where every kid, like, what bus stop every kid goes to. Yeah, can I be honest with you? Okay, I'd hope you would be. <laughs> when I said he should know where I live, I forgot that bus stops were a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that you used to walk to the bus stop. The bus driver doesn't pick everybody up right in front of their house. Yeah, well, anyway. it depends. Because like my my freshman year, um, I had a bus stop I had to walk to. But then uh, for the rest of when I moved, when I moved. He started picking me up from my house. Right. When I switched schools, so they picked me up from my house. Well, that's that's dope. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so I didn't know where I lived, really. Like, I kind of did. How but are you I was in sixth giving... grade and you don't know where you live? <laughs> I was giving them very shitty directions. Wait, you had and... to give the bus driver directions? Kind of, because he, like, the turn was real tricky or something, and I think he... I think he like missed it and then I had him turn around and it was like difficult so he's kind of getting pissed off and he I'm wait sure minute, he Wait a minute. <laughs> what? So wait, 6th grade you is giving the bus driver wrong directions and you're like, oh, "I think he had to go this way, mister." <laughs> Basically, this guy and you is, make him... <laughs> is 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 roughly a a 63-year-old man. I I would hazard. Your type. White hair, white hair, white dude. Uh, maybe a hat? I don't know. I'm peppering in details that I, I don't necessarily know. If Again, I this is why no one listens to, to this. Um, I, but, <laughs> so this guy's getting very irritable. I'm sure he just wants to go home. I would too. I'm getting irritable listening to this <laughs> fucking story. And, uh... <laughs> and so I made him turn around and then I think it, I don't know I made him like turn a couple wrong ways or something he was getting very mad and then finally I gave him the the, the I fucking picked the final straw and uh, <laughs> and he goes he like throws his hands up in the air which is very dangerous when you're driving a bus <laughs> <laughs> with one ca- wait is it a full size bus or a little bus yeah no, it was the full size. And bus, where you where jerk. are you? Are you <laughs> wait 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 wait? Because I picture you like ten rows back, like make a left, <laughs> Mister. <laughs> By the time my voice gets up there, like he's already <laughs> missed the turn. There's a delay because I'm so far away and you're little. In la- you're in the last row. Oh my god. Anyway. So he throws his hands up in the air and he goes, Oh, this is horse hockey! <laughs> Just screams horse hockey. And I wasn't, I was tange- tangentially familiar with the term, but I'd never heard it in the wild. And oh what my God. What sixth grader uses tangentially? <laughs> tangentially. Oh, uh, <laughs> finally <sighs> so he's he's all mad it's so tense and i'm i'm just like freaking out because like it's nighttime and i was like scared of the dark back then <laughs> and like and this guy's just giving off real like fucking scary vibes like you know those books those uh what you remember the bailey school kids no oh my god i used to read the series when i was a kid called the bailey school kids they you remember the books would be like Dracula doesn't teach algebra. <laughs> no, nah, bro. We didn't, we didn't have mermaids, them where I'm from. <laughs> mermaids don't teach trigonometry, you know? <laughs> no. <laughs> Those would be the titles. I don't know well, if anybody is going to know what that is, <laughs> but go on. Well, uh, I disagree. But anyway, this guy was like, he in those books, there would be like always like kind of a scary monster thing. Which I I guess they kind of turned out not to be monsters. I don't fucking remember. But anyway, this guy was scaring the shit out of me. And so finally, my house was up on this. It's it's in 
if anybody is familiar with the topography of central New Jersey, um, my house was in Martinsville, and that's like the whole town is on a fucking mountain, basically. And uh, my house was at the top of this big, big, steep fucking hill, and there was no way that this bus was going to be able to m- make it up there. So he just dropped me at the foot of the hill, which which was not the bus stop, by the way. Just dropped me off out of frustration, seemingly, at the bottom of this hill. And it's like fucking pitch black at night. And I'm like (laughs) probably crying, like slogging my fat ass's way up this hill. And meanwhile, I'm like, I had seen Jeepers Creepers recently, I think. So I'm like looking up in the treetops and shit. (laughs) And I think my mom eventually called the school to complain. Oh my God. God, it was such a, I, this is a traumatic memory and I'm not even kidding. <laughs> so what happened? How'd you get home? I made it up the hill eventually, but it was dark and I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh dark and I was scared. And then like my house was like up a hill and you turn right to go into the driveway. Uh-huh. But, like the driveway like goes down and over this bridge <laughs> like over a stream over a it what was a bridge <laughs> it was such a weird setup and so it's dark as fucking i'm worried about jeepers creepers and then i get to the fucking bridge like what if a fucking troll pops out and asks me a couple riddles like it was you it sure was it was a full-size bus <laughs> <laughs> i so, don't know it sounds like you I need therapy got onto that yeah would, would yeah, you go you're not wrong would you go to a therapist I guess so if I have the if I had the money. I I was actually thinking about this recently. It's like m- human memory is so fascinating for so many reasons. Oh, please like, explain. Well, you just think about like the the crazy weird ununderstandable way that our brains work and uh or I should say not fully understand cuz people are going to think that I'm that I think our brains are magic, but, um, the human mind's ability to just like make up bullshit memories or like to not be able to remember, remember shit, perhaps due to tragedy. Uh, I don't remember like a lot of my childhood and it's so weird to think about. I don't, what what do you mean? You don't remember (laughs) a lot of your childhood. I just like, I think back and, and, I can't, I don't know, it's so, things are so vague. But then it's weird because you ever, like, go to a place in your mind and, like, you can see the layout of places that you haven't been to in a decade? You mean, like, like, you mean, like, places you used to live or, like, old schools you went to, things like that? Yeah, or I can even, like, I even have, like, random, this is... Okay, I'll I'll just admit I'm high right now. Uh, <laughs> I knew it, bro. I knew it. I'm about um, I'm about two and a half glasses into some whiskey. That's why I've been mispronouncing some words, and that's why I've been very quiet. But uh, Loki, I've been worried that I'm stuttering a lot. But what? No, you're I'm just you're great, bro. It. You're carrying this one. I like it. Okay. Well, anyway, this is gonna sound like such a stoner thought, and it kind of is, but also. I think it's so weird. It's not just that I can see the layout of places, but if I like put myself back in that, that place, like right now I'm thinking of when I was in like, I want to say fifth grade, I was living, living in Albany, New York. And, uh, I remember going to this like revolutionary war museum and I can kind of see like what I saw that day you know what i mean like i have like i think so it's it's like i have looping videos kind of like i can i can actually see my and remember my own like perspective like exactly well i mean yeah because so weird because you because you were there yeah i know (laughs) and i know that that's such a stupid thing to say but it really just blows my mind that I can like think of things like that. You, you know? know something though? On on some <laughs> on some real shit though, I've said this to my girl a bunch of times. Most of my 
like memory of places I've been or things that I've done, I, I never can see it from like my point of view. I always see it as like looking down on me. Right. Earlier this year, I went to, uh, me and my girl went to Florida. And one of the things I wanted to do when we went down there was go to the skate park at Tampa because it was in Tony Hawk. And like, that was my shit as a kid. And it was like, yo, now I'm an adult. I can go there. I can go skate at the skate park at Tampa where I used to skate in a video game as a kid. Like, right. And we went there and it was like still like 17 years later. I think it was like, it was either like 14 or 17 years since the game came out. But like the park was almost a identical to the game and i was like this is crazy we i have uh my girl was taking a bunch of pictures of me and stuff and um i remember being there but when i remember it i don't remember it like from my point of view i remember it from like almost like a third person view like like watching me skate at the skate park at tampa that's weird like and a lot of my memories are like that like i don't have like first person memories myself of like things i've done that's pretty interesting <laughs> we both we both should probably be in therapy but <laughs> um yeah i'd be down i feel like yeah i feel like that that could be pretty constructive i got some lord knows i've got some shit i could probably work through <laughs> <laughs> you know what else is super weird to me too that um I've taken my girl around where I used to live and uh, like showed her my old houses and stuff like that. And it's so weird to drive past a place you used to live and like you're not allowed to be in there. Right. You know what I mean? Because you know it so well and you have such like specific memories from that that house or that apartment. Such specific third person memories. (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) Yo, you want to hear some crazy shit? What? Um... Like, like right around the time that I moved, right, I was talking to this girl from my old town where I used to live. I was like in ninth grade going into 10th grade. And yeah. um, I had known her. She was like a grade younger than me. So she was coming into ninth grade as I was going into 10th grade. And um, we were talking for like a little bit. And then I, like we were going to go on a date and I didn't drive then. So I was going to have to get her like uh, we were going to the movies and I didn't drive then. So I had to get either my mom or my grandma to like pick her pick her up with me to take her to the movies and she she lived in the apartment that i just moved out of when i moved up here right like did i ever tell you that i don't think so no it was crazy like i picked her up from my old house that i just moved out of like me and my mom moved out and then she was the next tenant that's weird like i jerked off in her room (laughs) And did you end up doing that again? No, I wish. Oh, I wish damn we it. only we only went on that one date, and I guess it didn't go well. I don't remember, but uh, I don't yeah, have. Did I she don't, play you? I don't have a third person memory of that. <laughs> you know, it's you know, it's it's weird. Like it seems based off of every romantic comedy I've ever seen. You're, I think you belong with her. That's N- no. <laughs> Did okay. I don't know if I've told this story on the podcast before, but I don't think anybody listens, so it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> but I was watching Predator with my dad. We're chilling, big time vibing, and um, <laughs> so you know that meme where it's like the two du- like ripped dudes shaking hands and they like flex their biceps. That's from Predator. Okay. There's like a very gratuitous, like almost like funny, very macho shot of them shaking hands. He goes, Dylan, you son of a bitch. And they (laughs) shake hands and they flex their biceps and it's a close up shot of their biceps. It's so, it's so cheesy 80s movie and I fucking love it. That, that's the thing, by the way, just uh, to digress a little, I fucking, I don't know if I've ever told you, I love like old Arnold Schwarzenegger movies those are like some of my favorite movies in the world like they're just so beloved and thank god thank god for Arnold Schwarzenegger movies man you know I yeah (laughs) anyway kindergarten kindergarten cop cop, are you kidding me (laughs) we just (laughs) say that at the same time bro (laughs) it's like we finish each other's sentences sentences. Woo! um Fucking, it's not a tumor. What's that one where he has to buy that uh that action figure for his son? 
Oh, uh, like the last action hero or something? Yeah. I haven't seen that one. I'll be honest. Nah, you know what I'm talking about. No, I know what it is, but I he haven't to, seen it. He has to like. It has Sinbad in it, right? Probably. Bro. He just <laughs> say a movie from the 90s. Yeah, it has Sinbad in it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Literally. I think the only like big 80s slash 90s Schwarzenegger movies that I haven't seen are that one. And what's it called? Like Twins or something? The one where he's twins with Danny DeVito. Those are like the two I haven't seen. But I love all his action movies like Commando, Predator, Terminator 2 Judgment Day is <laughs> one of my top five films of all time. And that's not an exaggeration. Like, I fucking love that movie. I used to go over to my dad's house every other weekend. It was a three-hour drive. My parents are were on the divorced swag. We would meet halfway in, in Madison, Georgia, Georgia, at the McDonald's. and um, Jingle and all sure the way. <laughs> Jingle all the way. Okay. Um, we would meet halfway at the McDonald's. My dad Bro, would uh, try. I was just talking to my girl about that. Like, I saw that. Oh, where was I? I forget where I was, but I saw the, uh, the divorced parents do the switch somewhere, and I was like, damn. Yikes! It's sad. yeah. I've, it's I've sad had many when, of those. It's as a sad kid. when you have to watch it, but uh. yeah, I I'm no stranger to the the meetup. But anyway, I would go back to his my dad's house, and every other fucking weekend, God bless him and my stepmom for putting up with this shit. Like every other fucking weekend, basically, I would watch. The first thing I would do is I would watch Terminator Two: Judgment Day. <laughs> And, and and they they would. Have, That's probably oh, why your parents got divorced. <laughs> this fucking idiot watches the same thing over and over again. He's brain dead. Um, <laughs> Are you sure it was a full size bus? <laughs> <laughs> they would also have a full like family size bag of Doritos waiting for me. Cool Ranch, baby. And that's probably part of the reason I was such a fat fucking kid is because I would sit my fat ass down and I would watch Terminator 2 Judgment Day and eat that whole bag in one fucking oh sitting. Bro, I just got an <laughs> ab workout, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but But oh. anyway, so I was watching Predator. Right, with my dad, and we've established Carl went, that. Yes. Okay. Well, I we digressed a lot, so I just want to bring us all back to reality and ground us. You know. Anyway, um, Carl Weathers, the beloved Carl Weathers, plays a a CIA agent in that movie. So Arnold Schwarzenegger is like a like a green beret or something, and Carl Weathers is in the CIA. And if you don't know. One way, one like a term that people used to use or still will use sometimes <laughs> for for like secret agents or like federal agents is is spooks. I don't think. Right? Yeah. No. You? You, you can look it up. Fuck you. It's no, a no. Thing. They used to. Don't say people still oh, okay. <laughs> do because they don't think they do anymore. Okay. I don't think they well, have since the 40s. Okay, okay. Well, anyway, so maybe it is kind of like a dated, old-timey way to talk about uh, spies. But anyway, so so Carl Weathers' character comes on screen and, like, you find out that he works for the CIA or whatever. And I said, I said to my dad, oh, he's a spook. And for those who don't know, Carl Weathers is a black man. And I said, oh, he's a spook. And my dad said, what did you say? And I said, he's a spook. And he goes, you know, that's like a racist term for black people, right? And I went, what? <laughs> I had no idea. So from his perspective, his like 17 or 18 year old son, who up and up until that point was a completely reasonable, decent kid, <laughs> showed no signs of racism. All of a sudden just goes, look at that fucking spook. And, and <laughs> totally thought I was being racist. And I was like, no, you know, that's like a, a thing for like secret agents too. you call them spooks. And so I just had no idea. So and ever since that day, your dad has thought you were a racist. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I grew up in the South, so it, it makes sense. <laughs> but I'm not. I, that's just a disclaimer. I am not. I don't have any more water. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, wait. So uh, something that I wanted to tell you 
Um, and you said to save it for the podcast. So, um, I'm, I'm about to tell you something that'll really gross you out. Like (laughs) it's one of my probably top five fat fuck moments. Um, (laughs) as you know, I have a sweet tooth and just a general (laughs) and real quick side note. Why did you see ice cream that had chocolate chips and potato chips in it and your first thought was that looks scrumptious that's what i want to know bro it's the perfect blend of salty and sweet in theory that's but fucking ben and disgusting. jerry's actually gave me a defective batch and it was just chocolate that's no disgusting. potato chips world <laughs> so ben and jerry's i expect at least one free pint um, and if not, uh, sponsorship straight up, like you guys should sponsor Honestly, our podcast. They, that should be your first sponsor, <laughs> bro, with how much you spend on, on bro, fucking ice cream. Bro, getting a life, they could pay me in Ben and Jerry's and I'd be cool with you it. Gotta get a, you gotta try to find a coin, like I have my Chipotle coin. <laughs> AJ claims that he has a gold Chipotle coin. Alright, first of that, all, it's not gold, you fucking idiot. And two, bronze. it works, bro. <laughs> they gave it, it bro. Way. They give it to managers, bro. <laughs> Whatever. He has a mythical coin. It's from not Sh- mythical. Shangri-La. It's in my car. I have it. <laughs> he got this coin from El Dorado and claims it. <laughs> claims it gets him bro, free Chipotle. Bro, I had a family member work there, and I said, "Yo, can you do me a favor?" I said, "I heard." <laughs> no, f- f- shut up. I said, "I heard they have these coins that they gave out to managers from like 2009 to 2012. It was like somewhere in there, and." Uh, they gave when they had like a conference, they would give them out to managers that like performed performed well and shit. And uh, she said, "I'll see what I can do." And like a month later, bro, in the mail, I get the coin, and it's like, it's yeah, it's lit, bro. Google it. I I, do, Google I don't it. buy it for a second. Google it. But anyway, Google it. So Google it. So <laughs> I'm not Google going it. to Google, Google it. it. So that's the end of this conversation. <laughs> but um. <laughs> But uh, so I have a serious sweet tooth, and I'm also just known to borderline a problem. B- borderline, probably, probably pre-diabetic at least. But um, but we're we're just rolling with it. Um, no, I I have a sweet tooth, and I'm known to overindulge in foods. Um, this guy will but- go out <laughs> and order three desserts before he even looks at the menu for what he wants as his entree okay i just want that to be known if anything good happened from this quarantine it's that restaurants are closed down so brady has to eat semi-healthy because he has to now provide for himself or he has to spend 45 dollars on doordash when i sit down at, at a restaurant and the waiter says oh is are you okay with water did you want anything else the answer is always yes please a milkshake We've been to the diner. We've been to the diner, and before we get sat, this guy's over at the dessert case looking at what they have, and he's over here ordering uh, chocolate pie with apple pie and ice cream a la mode. His favorite I'll fucking thing. To, his favorite fucking thing to say to a waiter or a waitress at a diner is ice cream a la mode. Get, oh my god! I'll, it's on the menu that way. I'm just saying it the way they want me to say it. I'm asking for the check, and this guy's just on his entree because he started having fucking dessert. I don't know how many pictures I have in my phone of me. You know, we go to the diner late at night, and this guy's starting his meal with a fucking apple pie and two scoops of ice cream or some or some tres leches cake with ice cream on the side. This guy is insane. The, the one of the the managers calls me dessert boy or sweet boy. He really does. <laughs> Out of thousands of of regular patrons, he remembers me and refers to me as sweet boy. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that guy. Yeah, bro. He asks you like oh, how the he, boy. he asks you like how the milkshake was or yeah, you know. He, he always sees me scoping out the dessert case, and it's always like a little joke. Like I'll go, ah, you you should try this. Um, <laughs> Hey, hey, there's no need for the accent. There was no need for the he accent. He has an accent. Here's like, like, why can't we do accents? You know, you just here's, said you weren't. Hey, you thing. just said you weren't racist. So what is it going to be? Uh, I'm not. Here's the thing. Why can't? Why do we have to get so offended over accents? You know, it's one thing if it's an accent, and you say something racist. Like if you do an Asian accent and say something about eating dogs. 
that's that, that might be crossing the line. But just doing the accent for shits and giggles. I don't giggles, think might be. The, I don't think might be belongs okay, in that it's, sentence. It's crossing the line. Okay. But just saying something in a fucking accent is is like something to be looked down on. That's crazy. That's crazy. But anyway, may I finish? Can I talk my shit? Okay. Okay. So, um, maybe about an hour ago, before we started this podcast, uh, I decided I'd have a little pregame bowl of cereal. Um, that's that's so, just called nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a celebratory or a pregame anything. That's just oh, was Brady. This. Hold on, hold on. I just farted. I, I, I <laughs> when you edit this, let me know if it comes up. But <laughs> I hope you rolled the window down. Brady again is sitting in his car because he doesn't want to wake up his roommate. I'm hot boxing myself with my own fart. Uh, <laughs> holy um, shit anyway so i decided to pregame the podcast with a bowl of uh wegman's brand uh apple jacks and so uh so i poured the bowl mind you i, w- I was pr- pretty high when i did this mm-hmm. uh, i poured the bowl and i i went fuck i didn't get milk because because, you know, I went to Aldi earlier to get a couple things, but I forgot about milk. I mostly just got snacks remembering that I was planning on eating edibles. I wanted some good snacks. So, anyway, I went, fuck, I didn't get milk, so I only had a little bit of milk left. I poured as much milk as I could. It wasn't quite enough. Anyway, <laughs> earlier today when I was at Aldi, I bought this really fucking fire ass shout out to Aldi I bought this fire ass like strawberry banana smoothie shit you know like V8 smoothers or something like that it was like I just wanna I just wanna be as quiet as I can and just let you talk and see what happens cause I'm loving this (laughs) hey you know those V8 smoothers (laughs) you know those little V8 smoothers that they make I've never laughed like this before. <laughs> I just laughed so high pitched. Um, <laughs> You're on fire, bro. But anyway, where was I? So, so I bought V8 these smoother. really great V8 smoothers. That's probably not what they're called. But side note, those are actually really fucking good to mix like rum with. Oh my goodness. Mix that with a little... I'm going to make that for my wife. I, I wish I fucking had the ingredients for myself right now, but I'm going to fucking this make a cocktail. Same guy that, <laughs> this is the same guy that winces at the smell of fucking fireball. That's that's exactly... Well, first of all, don't don't go around spreading lies because you know I love fireball. I've, I've and who put you fucking, on? Who put you oh, on? You put me on. I'll admit it. You put me on, okay? Where? Do you remember where? Yeah, we went to the stress factory in uh, in uh, downtown New Brunswick, New Jersey, baby, and we saw Andrew Schultz. That was a good show. It was. It was. I think. I think my first and only uh, live comedy show. I've Are ever you serious? I think so. That was the first and only time you've ever been to a stand-up show. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, one of the first things we got to do when everything yeah. opens back up, we got to yes. go. First, we got to go. We'll. we'll We'll go on a Saturday. You come to my house, and then I'll drive, and we'll go first to um, Old Man Rafferty's. Okay. You ever been there? Uh, the one in Hillsboro? No, there's one in New Brunswick. Oh, that's right. There. Why would we go to the one in Hillsboro? That's so far away. So we go to Old Man Rafferty's, and then we go. That was actually that was actually where me and my girl had our first date. The one in Hillsboro. Yep, Old Man Rafferty's. Aw, that's so cute. Um. Yeah, so um, but we'll go there. We'll go to Old Man Rafferty's, and then we'll go to a show. Okay. Or we can go to Destination Dog. Oh! <laughs> you just said my fucking word. And guess what? We've got our sights set on me undies, but for now, while we're in the trenches building our fan base, we'll settle for a Destination Dog's fucking endorsement. Hit us up, bang our fucking lines, you know where we're at. I'll give you my cell phone number right now. It's 732. <laughs> uh, um, bro, 
I, <laughs> you you put I'll, I'll give you credit. You put me on the destination, dog, because that's where we went after the Andrew Schultz show. Show. How fucking good is that shit? Oh my I've, goodness! I I've never it. had a better hot dog. Dreams. Really? Never. That's a fucking high compliment from this. Guy. No, no. I mean, it's a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so good. But anyway, what were we talking about? Okay, yeah, I'm trying to listen. Honestly, honest to God. I think I think the story was going to end with you You bought that smoothie and you put it in your cereal. And I, I... Yes, I put it in my cereal instead of milk because I'm a fat piece of shit. So you, put a, you, you had cereal with a smoothie instead of milk. Pretty much. Yeah, that's fucking, that's like low-key disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> You had a strawberry banana smoothie and apple all. jacks. That's fucking it's disgusting. It's high key gross. Um, <laughs> but I I justified it in my high state of mind. I justified it as apple jukes. I- a- <laughs> apple ju- <laughs> My justification was that apple jacks are a fruit-based f- no. fucking flavor. No. <laughs> so they would pair well. I'm like a cereal smoothie sommelier, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I'm fucking funny, honestly. Was it good? Like, uh, No. <laughs> <laughs> It was very thick and creamy and not in the way I like it, you know what I'm saying? Um, also, You don't know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Also, like, I low-key think I had the coronavirus like a month ago. But also, wait, we have to put a little uh, asterisk okay. in there because you yes. are the biggest hypochondriac that I know. That's very true. Okay, at least you acknowledge it. I think it's a little, yeah. bit, I think it's a little bit okay if you acknowledge it. Oh, uh, at the moment, I think I have uh, <laughs> matching tumors in my testicles, but... <laughs> Wait, disclaimer. Tumors are not something to laugh at, but this guy saying, like, if, if you knew Brady for a week, that, that is just one of the funniest things he's ever said. <laughs> Every single week, it's a new diagnosis with this fucking guy. <laughs> well, okay, so... I remember going to the doctor like years ago, legitimate years ago, and getting the old like fucking let me cup you while you cough, uh-huh. the old cup and cough. Um, and I remember the doctor, I think maybe I grew the balls, you know, <laughs> pun, pun intended. <laughs> I think I grew the balls to say to the doctor, because I'm, I'm a nervous doctor person, you know. Like, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say, oh, hey, I'm having a problem with, like, fucking getting my dick hard or something, you know. Are you, uh, are you having a problem getting your dick hard? No, my, my, dick's, my dick's working fine in that capacity, at least. Maybe, maybe others not. It's it's not the dick of my dreams. I'll say that, but I'm working on it. <laughs> How are you working on it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to get reps in during this whole thing. Um, <laughs> anyway, so this this guy's cupping my testicles, and <laughs> I think I said something to him like, "Oh, I think I might have a thing on one of my balls or something like that." I'm sure I said testicles in the moment because you you ever have that thing where you want to like talk impressively to doctors? No, I don't go to doc. Them. I don't trust anybody whose jobs are practice, bro. <laughs> Lawyers, doctors, none of them. I haven't been to a doctor in fucking over 10 years. Well, if I go to a doctor, I like want them to think I'm not just some idiot. So I'll use But you are. <laughs> so I'll use like smart words like I'll I'll be like, "Oh yeah, uh pus started to uh, Let me tell you something. Leak. Pus ain't a big word, buddy. <laughs> pus started to to ooze out of the orifice when I palpated it. Um, you know what I mean? Um, <sighs> anyway, so he's cupping my balls and I'm like, "I think I have a thing on my testicle." And so and then he felt it and and I was so convinced it was something to be worried about. And he goes, oh, that's the epididymis, which I don't even know what the fuck that is. But I'm going to shit myself. 
<laughs> but I was so like, I was so taken aback by how like cavalierly and just like casually he, it was just like, it's an epididymis. I was like, how can you be sure? Is it even an exact science? You know, but I guess that literally is what it is. It's, it's one of the most exact sciences. Um, how'd we get here? I don't uh, know. <laughs> so I ate the cereal and I'm a fat. Oh, uh, okay. So you asked me if it was good. I suspect that I had the coronavirus. Oh, oh yeah. That you have two matching tumors on your balls. That's what you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, well, that that too. I'm going to get that checked out at some point maybe. Um, <laughs> um, but, but about a month ago, I suspected I had the coronavirus. I had like shortness of breath. Fucking... Uh, tightness in my chest and then a big symptom was that I couldn't taste or smell anything which could just be like seasonal allergies but of course with the whole thing going on I got fucking super paranoid and just like isolated myself in my room and shit and are you still uh, recording yeah okay I just make it sure okay um <laughs> but uh, the, uh, the red light means on right yeah also um, too you sure you're quarantining? E- okay, I saw my girlfriend like twice, okay? Fuck you. But I was at Aldi today, and I actually confronted somebody. Uh, I'm not a very confrontational person to the point where like like getting into a legit argument with somebody will like make me like tremble afterwards. <laughs> like my, my adrenaline gets pumping. One time, one time, one of my bosses at work was like, who is like a notorious kind of dickhead. Um, he was an, a special dickhead to me that day. And so I went to my big, big boss, like his boss. And I was like, you need to talk to your man and you need to tell him that and I am a g- grown man and I, I will not be spoken to you like crying? that. <laughs> no, I was I wasn't actually crying, but, but I was just embellishing. But, um, anyway, so I'm not a confrontational person. So I was at Aldi today and there's like, so I've been there probably five or six times in the past month. It's been a real good spot during this whole uh, pandemic crisis. Um, and the way that it's always been, as far as I can m- remember, maybe maybe sometimes it isn't like this. I'm not sure. But I, I think it's almost always like one line off towards the, the right-hand side of the store by like the frozen foods. And you wait in that line and sometimes... Sometimes if it's not busy, it'll just be one register open. But if there's two open, then they'll like call the first person at the at, in the line. They'll call them over to that register, even if they're not waiting in front of it. Do you get what I'm saying? I think so. so okay. So there's probably a good like five or six people slash groups behind me. And I'm waiting patiently and the lady in front of me gets called over to, I guess, like line three had just opened up and there's somebody still at line one. So I'm, I'm waiting for either line one or line three to open up. And I look over and the lady that was standing behind me is standing like two aisles over waiting for line three. And I literally, I shit you not, I looked right at her. And I said, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. I swear to fucking God. It was like fucking doing drugs. Like I've never, I, it was such a thrill. I, I don't do shit like that. I know that's so lame to be proud of, but I really was proud of myself. I couldn't believe that the words had come out of my mouth. I looked, I looked at this 54 year old woman and I said, what are you doing? <laughs> and you know what? I was thinking about this on the way home. It's so crazy how how like our our society works, like how human beings socialize. So you, she like, was trying to like cut you in line, and you were just trying to be like not rude about it, but also like kind of yeah, rude about it. I was. It was just like I guess I had so many emotions. Like on the one hand, I was just like. You know, obviously angry because I can I can be kind of on edge around people that I like strangers. I I, I have a tendency to assume that strangers are like idiots, it, especially like in traffic. Like I won't give people the benefit of the doubt. I, like everybody's just an asshole and a stupid piece of shit. Okay, it's the same thing. Like in stores and shit, I have a tendency to 
a tribute like there's that there's that thing it's like Occam's razor maybe it's Hanlon's razor something it's like never attribute to malice what can be attributed to stupidity or something or I don't I don't even know if that works for this this situation Wh- whatever the point is I'm not Sasuke. a doc I'm not a doctor bro you don't have to talk to me with big words okay, okay. Okay, whatever. Um, so the point is, I have a tendency to maybe not give people the benefit of the doubt, but I wasn't trying to be a huge dick. And I was, I was also just flabbergasted <laughs> that this lady pulled off this maneuver. So I just looked at her and I said, what are you doing? And she, because of the way that our social like rules work, she folded immediately. She just went, she just immediately, like, I didn't even have to make a big deal. I just said, what are you doing? And she immediately started walking back towards the line. She was just, towards my line. Um, so she and, thought and she, she wasn't going to get caught. And you were like, I don't think so. I guess so. She was like, oh, I I thought that was like, uh, uh, I'm waiting in line for, for register three. And I was like, and I turned around and, and I remember at the time when I, I made this lavish gesture towards the line behind me and i said we're all waiting too (laughs) like a fucking people's champion man i felt like such the man of did everyone in the line start clapping and like just let you go to the front i you know what it's stupid but i genuinely was kind of expecting it i i was i was hoping for some hooting and hollering i wanted at least one person to to pump their fists and go whoop 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 like arsenio hall like i was kind of disappointed that i didn't get that kind of fanfare but anyway that was a fucking rush <sighs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I think this is a good place. I think this is a good place to end. We're an hour twenty in. You fuck. Nah, bro. It, chill, cause I I really I just really want to go. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna see if I can fucking uh, talk a little nasty to my my lady. Yo, you gotta let me know. You gotta screenshot it and send me. Let me know how it goes. Fuck you. I'm never making that mistake again. <laughs> I made the mistake of screenshotting. It wasn't a mistake. My- <laughs> it was for me. I screenshotted my dirty talk to my girlfriend and sent it to him. For some reason, I wanted his opinion or something, or or maybe just to give him ammo to make fun of me. No, I'm no, you were asking, you were asking me how you did. Okay. Well, anyway, I sent him a screenshot, which I shouldn't have done. I should I should have just dictated it over the phone, but I sent him a screenshot, and of course he screenshotted it on Snapchat because he's a piece of shit, and so now he has he can hold that over my head forever. I'm just trying to help you, man. <laughs> I'm really just here to help, and you don't let me help, so I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever, fuck you. I don't know, dude. I love you, bro. I love you too, man. This was a good episode. I feel like we did. I feel like we did pretty good this time. Yeah, I think we're gonna pop the fuck off. I hope so, man. We gotta we gotta be more consistent with it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Cause you know what? Um, to be real with you, on a serious note, sometimes my balls don't get enough support, <laughs> and I think me undies <laughs> oh, would be the perfect no. stop, stop, just stop, solution. just stop, just stop right now, please just stop. <laughs> Did you know they're made with micromodal fabric? <laughs> I'm cutting all this out. I'm you cutting, better fucking not. I'm cutting all not. that out, bro. If you believe in fucking equanimity and egalitarianism and the First Amendment, you better fucking not. <sighs> I swear to God, Adam. If you like I this podcast, please share it with your friends, <laughs> share it with your family, share it with everybody you know. If you didn't like this please. podcast and you made it this far, I'm sorry. Please I feel like I owe you something, anyway. but uh, share it anyway. I don't owe you shit. You owe me fucking money, <laughs> me undies. I don't give a fuck. Brady, go inside. Our, <laughs> please subscribe to our podcast because... <laughs> because we want to make you giggle we want to make ourselves giggle and most importantly we want to secure the fucking bag okay that's that's <laughs> that's a good way to end every episode okay you don't got to you don't got to say every every sponsor that you want okay you don't got to you don't got to do anything like next that next episode i'm going to come prepared with a list of my ideal sponsors and i'll put it out there in the world and we'll let them decide 
we'll let them reach out to us. <laughs> God, you this guy makes so much editing work for me, man. And our, Goodbye. Our 50 listeners. Goodbye. Don't edit any of this. We love you guys. Bye.